Hello and welcome. Uh, in this video, I will make a quick update about uh, some things that's been uh, missing for, for the seller and something I've been working on uh, since uh, really the beginning. Uh, it's a way to access the cellar safely uh, to, to enter and exit. At first there was uh, the wooden stairs that I removed at the very very beginning of the, of the project. And after that I bought uh, a ladder and I used it uh, ever since. And uh, it was really good investment, one of the first thing I bought for the cellar. But it was always intended as a temporary solution and uh, it was safe enough in a way but also uh, on the limit. Uh, I had a couple of instances where I, you know, I, I, it gave me a, a bit of, of, uh, of a fright. Since uh, I started working on the cellar, I, I researched and, uh, and looked at solutions for entering the cellar. I have a really tight set of constraints. Uh, it's quite uh, some height to traverse, um, 4.2 meters exactly. And uh, so I, I waited for the, the floor of the cellar to, to be put uh, in place and also the new slab in the entrance. Having that done, I could uh, really um, devise something with a real measurement of, of, the, of the final project. So yeah, so I really, really looked at a lot of solutions. In the end, I went with something that I found four years ago which is, uh, I think, a good compromise for, for every aspect I wanted to, to have. I ordered it in the middle of the summer, uh, end of July, very end of July, and it took uh, 60 days to, to make. It comes from Italy. So I will show you the final product and I will explain how I installed it by myself. So let's take a closer look. Obviously I added those into the door. Those are made for showers, but uh, yeah, it, it went well with the aluminum of the, of the stairs. So it's uh, a single ladder or stairs at uh, 60 degrees of inclination. All aluminum, which is great for the cellar because of course it's quite humid. So it's held on by those two bolts in here. But before that, it's uh, it's rested. Well, yeah, it it, it can hold itself uh, together even with the, even without the bolt. So there is a bit of wood in here to make it uh, really sturdy and contact the wall behind. So the handrails are great. I love the fact that. My uh, trap doors are nesting uh, into the handrail in here, so I could have it uh, the highest uh, possible. But yeah, so I had to switch them around because uh, for the original intent, you have a, a handguard handrail that uh, extend upward, but I didn't need it uh, in this case, so I inverted them. Uh, to get the most of the of the length. So obviously I have some issue with this vault with some clearing in here. So that's something that we I will need to, to take care of. I think I can remove quite a few st stones and, and make it more smooth and, and clear a path. Uh, for it to be a bit easier, but it's not a big deal when you're when you're descending it. Uh, it's really quite uh, easy. So you, yeah, no, it's not not really a big deal, but it's something I will need to address. Another point is I want to make it a bit more stable. Right now, it's a bit um, 
yeah, it's vibrating a bit. So when I'm working on this part of the cellar, I will uh, find a way to attach it to the wall and I think it will reduce quite a bit of the sway. But it's not bad, really, really, it's not bad. It's way, way less intimidating than, uh, than the ladder. So bolted here and here. It's really not moving anywhere. And I had to um, adapt this handrail, so I cut it using uh, a laser and I printed those pieces to, to fuse some tubes. Yeah, so I'm pretty pleased with the result. Yeah, so it's been a, a really long time coming. I'm happy that it's done. And uh, I will show you a bit of uh, photos and uh, videos I took when I installed it. I'm sorry I didn't make uh, any more full-length video of the installation process, but uh, to be honest, I just wanted to, to see if it fit uh, in the place. And uh, yeah, I got a bit carried away. It, it fit really well and it was uh, standing up for itself. So yeah, at some point I just drilled the, the hole into the, the floor and uh, I had some help to get it into the cellar using the, the other uh, trapdoor, which I'm uh, really happy about. It was uh, intended for this purpose. I made a model, a 3D model of the entrance um, just to be sure that the, um, the stair would go through and uh, it went uh, quite well and um, I'm happy with, uh, with the process. Uh, it, took, uh, it took some time to, to be made but uh, after that it went uh, really quite easily to get it uh, delivered into the cellar and installed. So for the installation I used a chain hoist, a cranky clickety kind of, uh, of thing. And uh, I put it on top of the, on the trap door using a, a huge uh, mine bar. I don't know what you call it. And uh, it was quite sturdy, really, really stable. And yeah, it went uh, really quite easily. And after that, I only adjusted the, the bottom of the handrail. So yeah, everything is great. So I still have to make a bit of... Uh, adjustment into the vault. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we are not uh, touching it as much. And uh, but after that, it will be OK. I think I will have to remove the stairs uh, when I'm working on the, the walls to make it easier. But it should uh, should be easy as well. I'm really happy with the result. I'm happy that I have some space left left in here. Uh, it's not taking much too, too much floor space. So, and also I have direct access under this trap door, which I will put an electric, an electric winch on top of. So I will be able to, to have some, everything's drop down right in here. So yeah, for me it's, it's a compromise for sure, but I don't have so much space to, to work with. So it was either that or something with a, a middle level. And yeah, yeah. in the end, it's, a, it's really a big burden lifted off my shoulders. Uh, I, I sunk, I sunk, I sunk. I put a lot of effort into researching solution for this part of, of, the, of the seller of the problem. It's a bit pricey, I would say. Uh, but uh, the flip side of that is that it, it didn't took me too much time to, to put it in the cellar and put it in place. Whereas other solutions, I would have yeah, worked uh, tens or, or hundreds of hours just to, to put something in place. And uh, yeah, no, it's, it's really a good, uh, a good outcome. I, I'm pleased. I'm happy with it. So also I'm working at the end of the cellar. I have, uh, I have put a lot of work into it. It's a big mess into the cellar, so I will uh, reserve that for another video just to make this one not too long. So yeah, so that's the end for, for this video. Thank you for having watching it and I will see you next time.